you know, it was probably back in 1998, maybe early 1999, um, that things began to really change for me. And it wasn't until 2000, in the fall of 2000, that I finally got the diagnosis through a Lyme titer test that it was Lyme disease. But up until that time, what I always thought of myself as being a very active um, person and a very active mom, I went from running three, four miles a day, playing softball in the evenings and basketball to barely being able to get out of bed. Um, my knees started filling up with fluids. We would drain them at the orthopedics office, went to the elbows, and eventually went into the jaws. So I was having a lot of joint issues, um, not even able to get out of bed. I spent an entire summer on crutches. Uh, we tested everything from lupus to rheumatoid arthritis to MS, you name it. And finally that doctor said, where do you live? I said, Timonium. Humor me, go get a Lyme titer test. And probably about 24 hours later, he came back and told me my numbers were sky high. And actually it was a relief because I finally could put a name on what I had. And then I was really excited because I thought, oh, antibiotics, 30 days. This is like strep throat, I'll be done. And I didn't realize what was gonna happen then from 2000 to present day in that journey with Lyme disease. So it's been a very interesting road for me and for my family and for my friends.